हेलो मान मे शुणी तो मैं मुझे जानते हैं मोर आवाज आस्ते था ना इधर इधर तुम्हारे को मोबाइल का ऑन करना सब तो मोबाइल का ऑन करना है मैंने उसको हाल सेल्स चलो अलग बोल रहा हूँ लाइट बोल रहा हूँ इसको हेलो ना हेलो लाइट बंद कर रहा है तुम्हारा रंग का स्मार्ट है ना ओके ठीक है हाँ गुड मॉर्निंग मैडम नमस्ते मैडम Namaste, madam. Okay, now our webinar is going to start. Already, Professor Dr. Mita Banerjee has joined. Welcome on behalf of our college. Namaste, madam, and also our principal sir is also going to join. And uh, now, actually, we are so much thankful to all the delegates. who has joined and the professor calendar ta acha aap khud khud pe actually yaar maine ke to pore se hai see my phone mein bahut aise now i request our sir tapan kumar mandal sir to join tapan kumar mandal sir to host this program already good morning madam dr anupama bhargava madam has also joined good morning madam our department welcomes you now on behalf of our department i request our honorable principal dr satyapriya mahalik sir who is continuously guided us and always put the energies to us now sir i request our honorable principal sir please say your valuable talk please sir uh, am i audible yes sir okay. audio okay. thank you namaskar good morning to everyone i am dr sp mahali The principal of Baragona College, Baragona, Kolar University, Chaiwasa, Jharkhand, convey my warm greeting to one and all connected with us in this college on challenges in secondary teachers training program during COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. Organized by the Faculty of Education, Baragona College, Baragona, a constituent unit of Kolhapur University, Chaiwasa, Jharkhand. With due regard, I welcome our I welcome our Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir, and the Chief Patron, Abhishek Swaminar. बनर्जी मैम 
connected from different places as we know the whole world is running with the pandemic crisis different kinds of problems and difficulties arise innumerable problems to human kind especially india like developing countries are facing social and economic crisis the people are locked up in their own home since long office school colleges organizations institutes are we are struggling hard to survive and to get rid of covid 19 in between the traditional teaching learning system has been suspended teachers and students are not coming to the school and colleges we have introduced online classes or webinar system to reach at our students physical presence is restricted virtual classrooms online classrooms online exams and practical exams are being encouraged but that are, but that may not be sufficient and may not satisfy to our emerging need mental stress frustration and confusion misguide our stakeholders teachers are also not getting proper direction regarding the future plan teachers education programs are facing practical problems that how to deliver the real classroom lesson plan shared mm. कैमरा ऑन करने लगे हो डायरेक्ट कैमरा ना लगे हम्म डायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट कुमार बरा हम्म मैं सुन स्टेप बुरा को बोलते ही देखूँ तो to assess the social facts related to the challenges to secondary teachers training program during covid 19 pandemic lockdown once again speech by dr i owe my thanks and gratitude to the honorable vice chancellor professor gangadhar panda the chief patron of this webinar 
and the esteemed resource persons for their valued participation to make this webinar grand success. I also thank to Dr. T. K. Mandal, the coordinator, and all the faculty members of the B.Ed. unit of Baragoda College, along with Mr. Sumit Shah, Rusa Ghosh, and Soman Singh for their technical support. At the same time, I also thank and welcome to all the participants, the media persons, and my colleagues, those who are participating in this webinar. Thank you, sir, so much. Already, our honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, Professor, Dr. Gangadhar Panda, sir, mostly welcome by our institution. Sir, already have joined. Very good morning, sir. Vice Chancellor, sir. Very good morning, sir. On behalf of our institution. Now, before starting our honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, I am telling about the webinar organized by our institution. Really, at present, nearly 140 institutions are running secondary teachers training courses. In spite of that, in this crucial period, most of the students are engaged in mm. Mm. online learning, but some challenges arise are in the field of school internship, field work, how to face the challenges in this platform, we shall discuss. Now, on behalf of our department, our college, we are welcome our honorable Vice Chancellor Sir, Professor Dr. Gangadhar Panda Sir, to remain in life and provide us his blessed. Please, sir, we remain online. Thank you, sir. Are you welcome, able sir? to hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, yes, sir. sir. You are welcome to Varagoda College webinar. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I welcome and congratulate, first of all, to uh, Professor S. Mahalikji Mahalik for his uh interesting or organizing this semi webinar on behalf of the department of education and actually he has fixed a title of a contemporary lecture that is challenges to secondary teachers training program during covid 19 pandemic lockdown actually i saw since my joining that uh, most of the departments are linking this COVID-19 because it is a burning problem and uh, they are trying to give solutions and recommendations to the government as well as to the university authority as what can be done during this tumultuous situation. Uh, I welcome also Professor uh, Mituji and Professor Kharangaji and Bhargavji, those who will give keynote addresses and those who will lead this uh, seminar, this webinar, this symposium in a good manner. First of all, giving my thought, giving my thinkings on this topic, I would like to give you the scenario of our Indian education system, how this teacher training education program started in India. First of all, if we will peep into the history during British period, they have started to do something on education and several commissions were constituted, but their recommendations were almost nil in contrary uh, 
uh, nil contrary to our Indian system of education. First, all of the educationists know that uh, Lord Mekale in 1935, he has given a police of education and that was criticized by uh, Indian people because his main ambition was though by dress and by uh, thinking uh, by body they will be Indian but by thinking by nature they will be British people because they wanted to appoint clerks uh, for the smooth organization of their uh, British Empire. This, that is why that was purely anti-Indian thinking that was, it was not accepted by the Indian people and uh, Indian people advocated Indian system of education. So that was a failure, but that impact is since felt within us. Then in 19, 1854, Wood Despatch also uh, came during the Viceroy Lord Dalhousie and that has no much impact on our system, Indian system of education. Then in 1982, Hunter Commission also constituted the, during the time of Lord Ripon and uh, they advocated about primary and secondary education, what best can be done for the smooth rolling, for the development of primary and uh, our system, our, our secondary education. Because as Gandhi has, Gandhi has rightly told that 80% uh, people are living in the countryside. So if you do the uh, development in the city, in the main metropolitan cities and big cities, that will not go to the countryside, the villages. Really, if you want to make the development, we have to do the development in villages. That is why all primary educations are actually launched, actually started in India, some impact. So after that, after our independence, I think now the present topic is secondary uh, uh, teacher's education, but I am telling you about the secondary education. For that, Mudaliar Commission, Lakshmana Swami Mudaliar, he was the <clears throat> the then vice chancellor of Madras University. It uh, gave a number of things about uh, secondary education. Then uh, in 1964, this uh, Kothari Commission, Daulat Singh Kothari ji was the chairman. It was named after him. So it submitted uh, reports in 1966, which has advocated many things. Actually, that is a full commission which has given recommendations beginning from the uh, primary education to higher education. Of course, there was some higher education commission by uh, headed by Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan ji. I will tell about that. But <coughs> this uh, Mudaliar Commission advocated how to teach study, um, uh, students um, in the higher uh, in the secondary level uh, level system of education. Then the Kothari Commission also told many things about uh, uh, that the 10 plus 2 plus system came actually out of the recommendation of the Kothari Commission. In this way, then we are dealing with higher education. Higher Education Commission was established in 1948. It submitted its report in 1949. It had made several recommendations out of which few are how they show students will feel that uh, uh, they, life has a meaning. This, this is the main ambition. We have to, that uh, only to eat uh, and then um, get our body, body nourished, then death, this is not the meaning of life. They should, if students should realize what is the meaning of life, then they should, uh, we should train the tip, uh, our students in the, uh, to live in the democracy, then to, uh, uh, study the, our cultural heritage, education is lifestyle and uh, lifelong process. We have to adopt education first, then understanding the present and the past of India and vocational and professional education. On the, in these heads, they have started the, they have recommended. But now, our present 
term of reference that is secondary teachers education it was previously looked after by nct by ncrt national council of teachers training and research which has in orovendam agra it was established recently but uh, government thought uh, out of the policy that is a national education policy 1986 so then this uh, nct was uh, founded it was established for the all around develop of teacher training then stand how it the main focus was how to uh, make the standard of the teacher education institute then nasna so this was established as per the recommendation of the education policy 1986 so they have priority was policy development of teacher education regulate properly norms and standard pre uh, primary to uh, secondary teacher training education including formal non formal and adult education thereafter also this was reviewed by ramurti committee this ramurti committee uh, was established in 1990 and uh, it has reviewed that they this it it this committee advocated decentralization and a participate and a participative management it reviewed national policy under uh, gen, uh, gender basis education vocational education teachers training education education uh, training of the educational personnel that means officers research and uh, women empowerment and adult education in this way uh, this ncrt uh, this nct national council of teacher education education it is working in previously it was in working in khel khel uh, indira gandhi uh, stadium Na, thereafter it was shifted to uh, other places it is functioning there and uh, it is monitoring it has also state level offices they are monitoring the teachers education uh, program this time if teachers will be well educated educated teacher will have more standard they can teach the students i know teacher what is the aim of education as gandhi ji told it is the all around development in man body mind and soul so unless teacher is equipped teacher is not educated how will it is that is why ravindra tagore has rightly told if a lamp is not burning and how it cannot give light to other that is why teacher has to always work he has to prepare he has to mock training and also uh, virtual classes number of things it has in advocate and now the present term that is how uh, this under this pandemic Uh, situation when world wildly suffering uh, by this uh, covid 19 and uh, there is social distances and uh, teachers education means it is the interaction between the teacher and tut these uh, teachers who are the, the students who are undergoing the training they are not only students they they are told pupil teacher so they are also they are also pupil mane shishya they are also teacher so unless they will do the teaching practices in the school then their teaching uh, internship is not completed that is why they have to go to the schools and uh, now this pandemic situation and most of the schools have been made as a quarantine center and uh, uh, there will be social distancing problem and the schools are closed how this uh, our people teacher will go to their teaching practices and how in the college itself how the teacher will teach this pupil teachers so now the uh, organizers have given to the uh, speakers to the resource person the some areas that is how psychology stress on the pupil teacher will reduce how school internship will be conducted how to solve the problems of pupil teachers during the lockdown period what precautions measures will take during school internship after uh, covid 19 and what should be the teaching strategies and how syllabus will be completed these are the uh, problems these are the challenges before our teaching teacher teaching teaching institute now in our state particularly there are 140 colleges and out of which we have in under kolan university 
uh, what information was given to me a 12 colleges 12 colleges means that means 12 into 100 1200 uh, people people uh, people teachers are under training i know some places are laying vacant but even then we have challenges now the scholars and those educational thinkers have assembled here and they will uh, give uh, give some advices recommendations and that will be communicated to nct as well as we will discuss in a forum and what best can be done we will do out of that with this i inaugurate uh, this uh, webinar and uh, give thanks and uh, uh, welcome and uh, happy feelings from my heart uh, for this organization wonderful organization especially uh, their leader uh, professor satyapriya mahal mahal mahalik ji and other uh, other resource persons who will give their lectures and as well as so without the participants all seminar will have no meaning it will be in vain that is why participants uh, those who are participating and assembled here i think they should not go outside they should seriously think over it i think some outcome will definitely come because that is problem when there is some so i think i am expecting some solution from this webinar thank you Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your valuable speech. Now, now, I would like to request our respectable, honourable ex national seller, Madam of West Bengal University of Teachers Training, Education, Planning and Administration, and the eminent former professor of Calcutta University. Also, Professor Everard at Adamas University and Professor Mita Banaji Madam has 26 years of her teaching experience and he uh, and uh, Madam has produced a number of more than 36 PhD research scholars. Personally, I have also reviewed some of the research articles in my PhD on the and we hope that we, we the teachers, our students, will be benefited from um, such talks. Welcome, welcome, Madam, Madam, Professor Mita Banaji, Madam, 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, madam. Madam. yes madam. A very good morning to all. I'm very honored to be present for this webinar organized by Baharagora College of Chai Basa for choosing me as a speaker. I thank Rajiv Lamta for contacting me. My best wishes to all present here. My respect to Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, and the principal of the college. The topic of today's discussion, challenges to secondary teachers training program during COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. As a teacher educator and also as the first vice chancellor of a teacher's training university, I have the experience in this field. To discuss on this, I would like to say the following. Now, what is the role of education? Education. Education is an all-round development of an individual. This development is possible with the help of an effective, efficient, ideal, professional teacher. Again, to make the teacher effective and professional, ideal and value-oriented, an effective teacher education program is essential. Education is an ever-changing, dynamic process. 
it is through education that a new shape is given to the individual society and the nation at large education thus plays an important role in bringing about social economic and political change and development of any country education helps people to learn the right actions and to apply such actions at the right time for all for all these to be manifested efficient teachers are required now how do we make a teacher teachers are nation builders teachers are both born as well as made teachers are the backbone of any country or nation teachers are the central figure in the teaching learning process the role of the teacher cannot be underestimated the future of each student depends upon the teacher teacher is the role model of every pupil with all these functions duties and responsibilities it is the duty of the state and center to prepare a program of teacher education and a, and a suitable teacher training to enable every teacher to play their role in a very effective and satisfactory way considering the future of the nation at large now what is teacher education the quality of teacher education under the central regulatory body nct has undergone a great overhauling and upgradation upgradation since the last decade in spite of this great gesture on the part of nct teacher education program still needs to be upgraded the teacher education program is always a subject of discussion at all levels like the government the ministries the regulatory bodies schools colleges other organizations of teachers and teachers themselves since no nation develops beyond the quality of its education system which in turn depends on the quality of its teachers thus policy makers stakeholders educationists regulatory bodies and others concerned must look into the matter and see to the improvement and justice of every teacher education program secondary teacher training program during this lockdown period which occurred due to this covid-19 pandemic is facing serious problems now to come to the challenges during this covid-19 situation the first challenge is that trainee teachers undergoing the training program during this part of the year where the end term examination is due internships are half way are half way done schools are closed indefinitely are facing serious problems life life has become uncertain and so is every course or program the final semester trainees are in a dilemma as the completion of the course has become uncertain this is a great challenge for them the second challenge is that of the methodology of teaching <coughs> to be used in this pandemic situation the trainees who have already completed the program will face a huge challenge as the future teacher in this present crisis situation pass out trainees would be teachers need to update themselves and be equipped with this modern technology and techniques of teaching in the online mode the third challenge during this covid-19 situation is the school internship secondary schools are all closed during this crisis 
hence yes. trainee teachers yes. undergoing or who need to undergo class teaching a complete school study projects will somehow suffer and will not be able to complete the training which is so much essential for a teacher's training program the fourth challenge which is the most serious and severe is that of employment most trainees who have completed their training and those who are yet to complete their final semester examination are facing an uncertain situation as no formal advertisement for employment or interviews are available in any media since the lockdown period does not encourage face to face interaction so such steps are not allowed or completed presently moreover those already employed are facing a reduction of salary even though they are participating through online mode now to come to a conclusion on the whole this pandemic situation has created hard times for every individual every student every employee or every employer this trying times has great impact on the life of every person due to the closure of every teacher training institution the curriculum is left incomplete and the trainees are confused salary 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 of teacher educators are due in most cases it seems that it would take a long time to get everything under control and settle back to the normal situation we can only hope we can only hope for a better future thank you hey hey thanks karun thanks karun thank you karun thank you 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 you are welcome so much speech and and thank you madam madam thanks thank you शोन Requesting, requesting our our speaker, speaker, doctor, doctor, to be, 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 open 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 hand sir hand sir ke ke the 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 the
now uh, yeah. in this yeah. in this present situation uh, you know uh, here when where yeah, yeah, i am yeah, presently yeah, yeah. presently attached at adamus university here also we have the fourth semester uh, students who have to appear for their uh, yeah, teaching yeah, yeah. Uh, teaching practice and uh, which has to be which needs to be evaluated now in the present time we are trying to conduct the teaching final through zoom app or through skype where the student trainee teachers will perform the act in their own house and the external evaluator will be also in her own place and will evaluate the teaching so in that manner just virtually just digitally we will do it to complete their program and so that the end semester students can pass out and and you know with with the passing out they can de get their degree now it is very difficult you know for the uh, n semester students to complete their total course in this pandemic situation now all the institutions are closed we cannot get them face to face we cannot make them sit for the uh, you know the examination in a face to face mode in a classroom so online examinations will be conducted and in we have a final teaching in this semester so they will do the final teaching through skype calling that is how we will end their exam so since they cannot go to the school where where they have completed their practice teaching they will not be able to attend that school or do the final teaching within a class setup so they have to do it online so that is the decision that has been taken Bye. Yes, thank you, madam. Madam, madam. Thank you. Thank now, you. Now, 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 starting, starting, uh, uh, speech by, 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 मैडम Have, have sent sent some protocols of the panel previous years and and madam your kind kindness with all our sides with us and and for our future future we will definitely madam want your your bless bless thank you madam thank you madam thank you madam now now i will i will our 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 people to be be and as sir so and like that us by providing some hello everyone talk talk and kadan sir registration more than 80 research and nearly to a phd class for our our he gives need to interest in research activity i come contact with professor sir हेलो हेलो 
Yes, Dr. Yufik Hedanga, sir, please we start your talk. We are not able to listening, sir. Your mic should be unmuted, okay, yeah. sir. Yes, we yeah. are listening. Good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we are listening, sir. Shall I start? Yes, sir. Start, sir. Shall I start? Yes, sir. Definitely. You can, can start, sir. Start, sir. Oh, okay. 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 Yes, sir. You can start, sir. We are listening. Honorable, your voice, sir. Vice, Honorable Vice Chancellor, dear Principal Mahalik, and dear participants, I feel extremely happy to have given an opportunity to speak something and share my views on the challenges to secondary teacher training program during the pandemic COVID-19 and the lockdown shutdown situation that is prevailing. Friends, as you know, the present crisis resulting from COVID-19 and the resulting situation of lockdown and shutdown, it has affected each and every sector of our life. It has led to a dormant and bottleneck-like situation. The education sector, both higher education and school education, is not an exception to it. During this critical stage, the nation has adopted a holistic and interdepartmental approach to fight COVID-19. And we are sure that we shall own the war. COVID-19 has also taught a lot of things amidst the prevailing horrifying situation. There is a horizon of positivity and a ray of hope. Being a teacher educator by profession and by passion, I like to put forth few tips, advices, and pointers which I feel will help my fellow friends, teacher trainees and others interested in this area to go ahead boldly and to perform well in their work. What I want to reflect upon is based on my informal interaction with my co-workers during recent past and a telephonic online survey conducted by me during the second fortnight of April 2020. The online survey was conducted through WhatsApp on a very small sample of 40 respondents who have completed the first year of this year training. The online survey was conducted with the help of a questionnaire containing 1,200 questions based on the following three areas. Psycho-emotional crisis, stress, stress conflict, conflict, confronted by the teacher training during COVID-19, becoming problems, situations to be confronted during the training and internship in the context of COVID-19, role of teacher training during present crisis and post-lockdown period. On the basis of the responses, it was found that Initially, the trainees were having little stress, but they have managed to face the situation with a positive spirit. 
majority of the respondents have visualized the incoming situation in both the institution level and during classes and during internship they have developed necessary insight to adapt to the situation it was also found that they have realized their role and responsibility for the students and society during covid 19 and post covid 19 education is the worst affected sector of covid 19 the requirement today is to analyze the current situation and to evolve some constructive path for the future as the pandemic convinced that it is not going to leave the world so we need to live with it and with methods and style which are suitable for students trainees and educators there is no doubt that education system is facing serious challenges but every institution needs to respond to this according to its resources and infrastructure the time has come to think rethink analyze and innovate for its education system the best approach to adopt at this time of juncture is teacher educators training and school teacher should adopt mentoring system and we start to adopt a small number of students for individual teaching we have to take care we have to take care of the mental well being of the students and teacher trainees for this online classes audio classes guidance and counseling services on stress management conflict resolution should be held we have to improve life skill education for handling the challenges we have to involve or we have to evolve an integrated model of internship program we have to evolve an integrated model of internship internship program instead of the present time bound single stroke internship program we to best suit to the present situation and during post covid situation further we have to please the trainees the benefit well, of social work which will fulfill one of the most important dimension of higher education that is extension services present day teacher trainee need to come out not merely as a skilled teacher but as a fighter to fight against covid 19 and similar other disaster so knowledge of disaster management should be taught to the trainees further the need of the hour is to promote and strengthen the autonomy of higher education system we have now a good number of autonomous colleges which can adopt suitable need based strategies to carry academic activities during covid 19 and during post covid period by utilizing their resources now time has come to think about the next generation of autonomy we have to give autonomous status to the teachers within the autonomous colleges that that means the syllabus will remain same the examination will be common and same but 8 to 10 number of students will be alerted to a single teacher and or a faculty and they will be taught 
all the papers by the single teacher in the so that individualized attention can be given social distance can be maintained face to face and online classes can be held mobile learning will be made easier in future we can rotate the autonomous status from one teacher to the other on the basis of their efficiency this will promote efficacy among the faculty members this model i place on the table for wider discussion and for necessary refinement but i hope during this period of crisis this model will help a lot the concept of autonomous status to the teacher can be shifted can be given to a particular teacher for 3 years in when we are giving autonomy autonomous status to a teacher let us take for example that we have 100 students in a teacher training college the examination will be common the syllabus will be common but two or three faculty member of the institute can be given the status of an autonomous teacher and 8 to 10 students will be alerted to each autonomous teacher the autonomous teacher will not take class as per the normal time table they will be in charge of their 10 to 8 to 10 students and they will teach all the papers but all the students will sit for the same examination at the end we shall see whether the students under the mentorship of the autonomous teacher they are doing well or not if they have done well in comparison to the other 70 or 80 students then we can extend the autonomous status of the teacher for a further period of one year or two year if the students are not doing well then we can shift or we can assign the autonomous status to some other teacher by doing so we can get promising faculty members who will compete to get autonomous status from the university by doing this we can fight covid 19 very well because under the guidance of one faculty member 8 to 10 students will remain the faculty member will guide 8 to 10 students individually he can take care of him well and the students will feel comfortable so now the time has come that we have to think about the next generation of autonomy 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 in higher education that means the next generation means giving autonomous status to the faculty within autonomous colleges this is one proposal which autonomous colleges and universities can experiment upon and i think this will be an effective one in today's scenario during covid 19 and in post covid with this i thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to speak something share something thank you very much stay home stay safe and stay healthy thank you any question hello yes sir uh some more some more sir uh students are chatting chatting i am not i am not giving the reading the chat sir but sir just we are getting we are getting the global global knowledge 
knowledge how to put our our how to continue learning our learning process it's not audible it's not audible students things are uh one more uh one more by me answer six by me हेलो हेलो यस सर यस सर हेलो हेलो हाँ हेलो यस हेलो यस सर सर यस सर यस सर हाउ हाउ मी टू कंसीडर आवर स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट दे कैन दे कैन फिट्स द फिट्स द फ्यूचर इंटेंसिव इंटेंसिव प्रोग्राम इंस्टेड ऑफ इंस्टेड ऑफ इंस्टेड ऑफ हाँ हाँ इन इंस्टेड इन ट्रेडिशनल ट्रेडिशनल प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम वी हैव टू वी हैव टू इवॉल्व इवॉल्व एन इंटीग्रेटेड इंटीग्रेटेड वन वन इन इंटीग्रेटेड इंटेंसिव इंटेंसिव प्रोग्राम हम्म हम्म विचुअल विचुअल तो इंटेंसिव इंटेंसिव प्रोग्राम Sir, eco eco system system going going. Eco eco. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In in traditional traditional system of our academic academic activities, we are we are two months months. What is this? Sir, sir. Our our introduction. During that, during that, we are not. In a hectic, in a hectic, computing the internship program. Ah, I have a question, yeah. Professor Khadra. So, yeah. Hello. Yes, madam. Hello. Yes, madam. Uh, I I have a question. Hello. 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 Yes, Professor Khadra. I have a question Hello. for you. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Professor Kadanga? Mm -hmm. I I have a question for you. Now, do you think that uh, a professional mm -hmm. course like the B.Ed. Uh, can can be done without mm -hmm. going face to face? Because uh, this internship program, as you say, that if we you know have ten to twelve students being yeah. guided by a teacher. But uh, don't you think that we need a face-to-face -face interaction with the school students to complete the internship? As this being a professional course, we do need to come face-to-face -face with the school students, and the training will become incomplete if that face-to-face -face, uh, interaction is not there between the um, students and the trainee teachers. Yeah. Do you think yeah. that this is feasible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In in integrated model of model of program, program, the face to face face to face will be reduced. Will be reduced. Face to face contact contact will be reduced. And and in this. Yes. 
yes yes sir gunter mom madam mom madam any questions any questions to mitra madam madam professor professor sir नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम में भी आई एम नॉट आई एम नॉट हेलो हेलो आई एम आई एम लिस्ट लिस्ट एनी एनी पर्सन्स okay okay now now we are we are request request to tell anupama madam anupama madam please please then online online hello i am request hello? request to anupama madam to deliver hello hello rahul rahul yes madam yes you welcome you welcome डॉक्टर अनुपमा मैडम अनुपमा मैडम स्टार्ट स्टार्ट लास्ट लास्ट डेलीवर्ड बाय डेलीवर्ड बाय यस हेलो आर यू एबल टू हियर मिस्टर टू हियर मिस्टर यस मैडम आई एम लिसनिंग आई एम लिसनिंग हां यस यस हां यस यस रिस्पेक्टेड प्रोफेसर पांडा प्रोफेसर पांडा honorable on vice chancellor vice chancellor kolhan university kolhan university dr mahalik dr mahalik principal bahregora college bahregora college eminent speakers eminent speakers professor dr meeta meeta benerji of khadanga khadanga faculty members of bhe of bhregora college of college and the audience for the lecture very warm welcome all of you all It is an honor to be with you all. With you all, for a session on the topic of IT security during COVID-19. COVID-19. Let us start on a positive note. This time will not last. Not last. But as of now, as of now, we have to overcome the hurdles that have been posed by the host by the straight coming to the coming to the topic. let me say let me say the function of any higher any higher education, education is facilitated by, by the advisor professor and and students all the three are facing challenges in their work areas before elaborating this let us again think of during this time what we are supposed to do all of us know that but let us once again talk about that we have to maintain distance from each other face masks have to be used and we need to wash hands repeatedly surface touching is also not should be avoided Now this is a new normal, and it has changed our teaching learning scenario also. Campus life, which remains so vibrant, has to undergo a change, and the work for the administrators are increased here. There is new responsibilities are that when students return to the campus, they have to remain at a distance from each other. Social distancing prohibits gathering with students. Surfaces like gates, codes, doors, and railings cannot be used, and public means of transport cannot be used. Co-curricular activities are also not recommended. This scenario poses challenges and new responsibilities for the administrators of future training colleges. Before students enter the campus, certain things have to be fixed. It has to be fully sanitized. All surfaces should be clean. 
and sop needs to be practiced like use of face mask normal scanners and sanitizers not sitting on the floor and of course maintaining physical distance has to be strictly maintained and enforced by the administrators and the authorities it is now their duty to provide safe environment for all who are entering, entering the campus Besides this, another challenge for the administration would be to provide a new time table. A large number of students cannot attend here. We have hundred seats in the B. Ed. Bhopal. More classrooms are required. Alternate attendance is necessary. And then we have to restructure the curriculum also. Given the present curriculum, which is very thick, it is not possible to uh, complete the syllabus with the help of this curry broad curriculum within a given time. And if studies continue virtually, then syllabus has to be covered online mode. Now, now teachers are trying to cover the remaining syllabus with the help of online mode. All teachers they need training and guidance. All teacher educators they need uh, guidance in this area. Most of our teachers, trainers, they are finding themselves in a new situation. They are not well trained to undertake this mode of teaching. So administrators have to bring changes in their infrastructure. Have to be provided for use of technology in a smooth fashion. Wi-Fi campus is for online mode of teaching are required. Technical support is also essential for the teacher. So professors are continuing with the WebEx or maybe online with Zoom or any other apps. When we are interacting. Students online, we need certain guidance and expertise to require to recreate a class like this. Teacher education program also has to be covered through the activity. It is different from other. We need to think of a way in which teaching, micro teaching sessions can be conducted smoothly. For this, we have to remove from the In the school and need to share our concerns with them. Till now, in the face-to-face -face mode, what the students were doing, they were going to the school for uh, a period of four or four shifts. But now, we it is essential for us to find a way in which our students also remain safe in the school to which they are going. They keep the students also in a safe uh, school. This a uh, close cooperation with the school, and secondly, we need to talk to the schools whether they will have a lot of students to teach. If schools are not open with the online classes, then they, uh, whether they will have more students for online classes or not. This also you see. And second point I would like to say that uh, at the time of the time, most of the student teachers they come. From the place to the school, then using the public transport might be safe. This is an area on which our teaching, uh, teacher training is has to be obviously. That what we are going to do at this uh, time of time. evaluation or conducting for the students is another challenge. If if the online mode is used or virtual teaching continues, then something appears on the exam is difficult. And if we go for the pen paper exam, then pen paper exam has to be conducted in many shifts. In BA, we measure learning outcomes on only two exams. Also, we have projects and assignments also. Besides this, our students are students, and they do community work also. This is a part of the curriculum. Now it is difficult again the challenge of administration. As well as for the BA to arrange or how to start new classes, how to start with the admission, how we have whether the new admission is in the virtual mode or students may come to the campus. This also happens. Now, as far as teachers are concerned, as far as I am concerned, 
Now they also have to think students. Online teaching poses challenges for the teacher. Till now, we are only used to face-to-face -to -face mode. Teaching online is very difficult. Teacher, uh, students can identify or they see or teacher. But students are not visible to them most of the time. Seeing their body language and facial expressions are not visible. They are not visible to them. And it becomes difficult to express them in trust and attention with them towards the class. Students might be engaged from the teaching online, so I might be trying to that with the students. That is also a challenge for the students. Besides that, some of the students might not be talking about the social media there, like laptops and mobiles, family members are not available to them in online classes. Besides that, data is the system. Of course, find it possible to complete group activities in online classes and micro sessions usually in which students take practice skills one by one in the demonstration and then they go for the level is achieved. Also, not possible. And in face to face mode, we go. Now it will become a healthy topic because we have to work for a group of small group of uh, uh, small groups and maybe eight to ten students. Teaching learning is a two way process and absence of interaction with the ineffective and effective learning outcomes becomes more difficult. One area where people have to draw the attention that we have students who come for the first time. To the uh, college, educational philosophy, educational psychology, school organization, all these are new subjects. Students do not have any kind of previous knowledge regarding this, so online mode becomes so difficult for them to understand the concepts. And if we go for face-to-face mode, then teachers have to repeat the same sentence again and again for various in teacher training programs, we put a lot of stress on writing development. So, uh, how to develop skills and life skills among the students, we need to think the new ways for this. And yet, students are also facing challenges in this time. The pandemic led to sudden disruption in study. They are not in touch with the teaching of classmates every day, and suddenly they are seeing. Hectic has changed. Most of the professors they have to the online mode, but still students are unable to get the answer to their questions instantly at this point. The social environment of the which helps them or motivates them to the lesson, but that is also missing. In the learning cannot take place in the online mode. Student teachers are also anxiety and confusion in present circumstances. And second year students who have to go for a internship in the school. Now that is also that an area which has to be worked How we can take these challenges together? First, we have to remain assured that we will overcome this thing. Certain changes which need to be incorporated in our life, one should be curious about that, like following all the norms to keep us safe. One prime objective of all of us now is to keep ourselves safe and rest of the things we We have to develop new learning habits, and teaching methods also need readjusting. In this, I would like to say. Classroom concept can be useful for us in which the content can be read by the student at home and when they come to the hello. Click classroom concept concept can be uh, taken up 
in which the transmitted matter can be read and understood by the their home, and once they come to the classroom, the interactive sessions can be done. of the students can be done in the classroom, and discussion of knowledge can also be done. Then, second area is blended learning, from which we uh, can go and explore this blended learning even after the pandemic is over. That is uh, covering at least a small portion of the curricula, which is critical in, on the, with the help of online work and uh, practical activity and application of the knowledge and the development of campus. Because it will keep us ready for all emergencies also. And transition would be easier for all of us if this kind of situation arises again. As far as students are concerned, they should utilize time in hand judiciously. And judicious application of time implies that they should take up activities of their interest. Creative activities not only will keep them engaged, but also keep them in good mental frame. Besides that, students can go to certain classes or doing household activities that is that uh, is going to be in teams. They are bonding with the family and also inculcate habit of doing work and getting responsible. One information I would like to give to the students that there are certain websites like www.pdfdrive.net through which they can download books. And on Facebook, certain pages are exclusively devoted for the teacher education, which they can join and listen to the lectures from the students. Besides this, what is that group with the students who teach them in touch with all of their classes? They can also share their thoughts and ideas. And one suggestion from my side is that if students make small videos and share it with their friends, so this will give them an idea of developing their thoughts and expressing through the speech. Uh, this is also time to prepare for their program. This they can utilize their time in this preparation. As students should always be in touch with their friends, teachers, or classmates. Whenever they feel go, a call can be made. All of us are just a phone call away from each other. So it is the time. To think of alternative of sharing knowledge, knowledge learning skills, and sharing Yes, over to organizers. Yes. Thank you, madam, for your valuable talk. And due to some technical issues going on, but we are listening and uh, trying to understand. Madam, in the screen, it has been seen some question has been put. And uh, let us click to here so that in screen you can display. This is Samsung Array. Yes. Ma'am, there is a schedule call. Uh, Madam has put the question, how will it be possible for an effective learning if interaction between learners and teachers are being done due to COVID-19 as social distancing has to be maintained? Yes, Madam, very briefly. Yes, social distancing. Now, at this time of COVID 19, we need to maintain that. And, uh, and if 
the schools reopen, uh, colleges reopen, and students come to the campus. Then also we have to maintain a distance with them, and they say nothing. We cannot say that social distancing we will not follow. Because this is the urgent, this is an emergency situation. We need to follow that. But along with following the social distance, we need to interact with our students. It is too annoying. Uh, Samson uh, C9 Pro by A9 Pro. Yes, madam. Thank you so much, madam. Madam, oh, I have a question, please. And uh, Mita, madam, is putting some yes, question. Yes, yes, madam. Yes, madam. madam. I have a question. Yes. yes. And I just wanted to know that the teachers training institutions are uh, many of them are in remote areas. Yes, now, do you think that the camps, campus can be made Wi-Fi over there for uh, the entire uh, program to go online? And students yeah. are, uh, you know, students are also not, uh, you know, uh, socially uh, so much upgraded to uh, to possess a laptop or a very high fi mobile for them to go online. What is your opinion, madam? No, ma'am, what I want to say that yes, I do understand that the strength of process is there. Because in the family, sometimes the laptop is also not there. The students share only one mobile with the uh, family. But if we do a common learning management system in the colleges, in which all the notes all the material students are uploaded, then it is possible because then students have to log in for the month and find it. Uh, in the present situation, of course, remote area students are finding it extremely difficult. Even when we connect to our students, half of them are not online because of the connectivity yes. problem. But if yes. this scenario continues, we need to think of some alternative way. Maybe uh, cheap data packs can be given to the students. That is my suggestion. And uh, in the present system, we are facing a lot of problems with the students who are in remote areas. We are uh, every day we are taking online classes, but uh, there uh, there are at least ten percent to twenty percent students who cannot come online or uh, or they cannot do the you know classes or you know even in exam time we are having exams online exams. There also we have about 10% students who cannot appear for the exams, who are staying in yes, remote areas. Right. And, and do not possess a laptop, desktop, or a phone. Yes, Android that phone. is right. Yes, that's the problem all of us are facing. So uh, yes. sometimes we post our notes on WhatsApp also. Because basic phone is there, so students might go through that uh, content. That thing we do. OK. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Ma Welcome. Our professor, Mita, madam, has put most of our institutions are in rural areas. How you can... Uh, sound is going on, madam? My sound yes, is yes. going on? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. 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 Uh, so in our college, uh, this Bahragoda College is also situated in tri junction of... West Bengal, Odisha, and Jharkhand. Most of students are coming from rural areas, and we have the networking problem. We are facing uh, while we are conversing with our students. Uh, they are uh, uh, getting uh, question and uh, reply after few hours, and they are telling if online exam will go, how we can face the uh, exam. That's the uh, challenges for remote areas, definitely. And Dr. Anupama. Madam has explained the answer so nicely, and uh, we are much thankful to Dr. Anupama Bhargava, Madam. And uh, thank you, Madam, for your valuable talk. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Bhaktabandhu Nayak to come and convey your valedictory speech. Please, Dr. Bhaktabandhu Nayak, please. Good morning. I am Dr. Dr. Mandunai. I am a student. 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 I am a student.
part of importance of men when our and the honor to be able to motivate young minds. I am glad that one really next and the great the honorable chief patterns vice chancellor of Kolkata University, Chaimasa, Professor Dr. Gangadhar Panda. Now, I would like to express my gratitude to our honorable patterns, this fellow of Bharavla, Professor Dr. Gangadhar Panda, Professor Dr. Gangadhar Panda. I have no words in the informative explanations. I express my the good will to honorable speakers ex readers in education dr up kharanga we are able to learn more many more things they are valuable speech now i extremely happy to honorable speakers dr anupama bhargav assistant professor in education i express my good will due to their energetic speech i express my good will to Delity on the YouTube's respected teachers, parents, and my dear students. It is a great pleasure of mine to address and share with you this delightful national webinar on challenge to secondary teachers' training programs during the COVID-19 pandemic lockdowns. I am extremely honored, honored and have this opportunity to address you at this the prestigious moment when our institutions Bharagura College Bharagura is celebrating its this is, day is also going to witness the showcasings of the talents of the young minds of our college. Our college believes that they are not just looking for academic qualifications but also for personal qualities like leadership, teamwork, determination, flexibility, confidence, and self-belief, respect, and the considerations it is. I on the behalf of the college and behalf of myself, helps me delighted to see the hard work done. Lastly and importantly, I would like to express my gratitude to the chief's patterns, vice chancellors, principal, teachers, staffs, participators and students who are the three integral part of this college and have always supported the regions and missions of the college. I requested all for your kind cooperations throughout the programs and makings it a grand success. Thank you. Thank you, Naik sir for your valuable valedictory speech. Now I would like to call our colleagues, Dr. Sachindra Mahan Sahu, R.S. Kachyap sir, please be joined at control room where you are watching. And please, Sahu sir, Kachyap sir, or other of my colleagues, please be joined and come at control room and put your questions so orally and I am just waiting one minute to come at control room and uh, also Gopal sir, Sanjay sir, Gautam sir and uh, who are physically uh, remain here also they can join through chatting by uh, they can put questions through chat so that we can put here questions please. Uh, Shahu sir and uh, Kachap sir. Okay, now just before going to end session, I'd like to call Dr. Tapan Kumar Mandal sir and uh, he has already joined but now I, it 
can only see in the screen. Professor Dr. Tapan Kumar Mandal sir. Uh, anyway, due to paucity of yes, okay, thank you, sir. Professor Tapan Kumar Mandal sir has joined. Welcome, sir. Convener of this program. Now add request Dr. Tapan Kumar Mandal sir to express his valuable talk for a few minutes. Dr. Tapan Kumar Mandal sir, are you listening? Sir, I was going to sir. कंट्रीब्यूशन जो समय दिए गाइड कर मंडल सर अपना शुरू कर सबाई के नमस्कार आज महाविद्यालय श्रेणी शिक्षण सम्पर्धरण आलोचनार आयोजन से आलोचनार जिन पृष्ठपोषक कलेजे प्राचार्य महोदय साहित्य अकादेमी पुरस्कार प्राप्त डर सत्यप्रिय महालिक महाशय जिन स्वयं बीएड एवं एम एड कर विषय अनेक अनुप्रेरणा पाई मुख्य पृष्ठपोषक जिन भाइस चान्सलर महोदय चारू ज्ञानगत आलोचन शिक्षित कर आजकल आंतर्जालिक आलोचना सभा वक्ता समूह ताओ आज के कोड नाइनटीन समय जो समस्या यह विषय चर्चा कर असंख्य धन्यवाद कारण आज के एक सब चे बड़ समस्या जे समय अतिबात कर साथे बस इंटरक्शन करते जार फले स्वभा आचरण ज्ञाने कर्मे तर वंचित कर विषय आलोचना गड़िए एक कोअर्डिनेटर हिसेब कि चिंता भावना करी एक शेयर करते चाहिए प्रथम तो एक कथा बोली जे कलेजियों शिक्षा व्यवस्था शिक्षा व्यवस्था पढ़ाई फर्मेल एडुकेशन से छात्र छात्री एवं शिक्षक एक श्रेणीकक्षर अवस्थान घटे एवं मूलत स्नक स्नकोत्तर पर्या ज्ञान चर्चाई कर भूमिका था अर्थात एक जो अध्यापक हिसाब एवं छात्र छात्री ताओ जान एक विषय शिक्षार्थी एवं से ज्ञान चर्चा है यारण शिक्षा प्रणाल संगे बीएड तथा बैचलर अब एडुकेशन बड़ तफात हल जे एखने शुदुम फललाभ है ना से जरा पढ़ते आिक्षक हवार जन्े पढ़ते आरा पढ़ान ता हलन से अध्यापक जरा सम्पूर्ण तो शिक्षा दान करें सूतरा एक सस्टेनेबल डेभलपमेंटर दिखे 
शिक्षा प्रणाली बैचलर अब एडुकेशन साथ जड़ित आज बल लार्निंग टू नो लार्निंग टू नलेज लार्निंग टू डु लार्निंग टू लिव टूगेदार ये चतुर्विध फलाभ घटे एड शिक्षा प्रणाल मध्य श्रेणी शिक्षण मध्य मन हो समस्या गोने उठे जे रिमोट एरिया से छात्र सकल स्मार्टफोन नहीं आजकल आंतर्जालिक जो आलोचना से ज्ञानमूलक विषयगुल ज्ञानमूलक विषयगुल स्टाडी मेटेरियल रूपे ये समय तक दिए से चर्चा कर ज्ञान चर्चा तरह से एफेक्टिव डोम जेटा बला है जो फलोलाभ सूत्रता बीएडर मध्य पार से पे हम शिक्षार्थी शिक्षक संगे संस्पर्श श्रेणी शिक्षण प्रणाली एवं अत्यंत गुरुत्वपूर्ण एक विषय से लेसन प्लान कारण ज्ञानमूलक विद्या चर्चा हमें जो हिस्ट्री अफ एडुकेशन बोली सैकोलजी बोली बा प्राइमरि एडुकेशन बोली इत्यादि जावतियों हमें तक के सहाज्य करते पर आंतर्जालिक ताशी सेमिनारे भेतर दिए हक अथवा ह्वाट्सपर मध्य दिए हक क्यों लेसन प्लान एवं पठन पाठन से जगहटा थे शिक्षार्थी क्योंकि वंचित थे जार एक उपाय यकम एक होते जेम कोड नाइनटीन पिरियडे जरा जतियों स्वेच्छा सेवी संस्था पक्ष कलेजे पक्ष ऐले मे बाड़ी बस बाड़ आशेपाशे क्यकर्मगुल करकम प्रत्येक बाड़ी मध्य कि क्यों स्टूडेंट आस नाइने पढ़ते परे एटे पढ़ते परे सेभेने पढ़ते परे सिक्स पढ़ते परे सूतरा तक के जदि श्रेणी शिक्षण से जगहटा रक्त करिए दिए जो लेसन प्लान करते बला तारा जो बाड़ी बा आशेपाशे क्यों को जदि कारो बाड़ी एस पढ़ते चाय से जेको डिसिप्लिन हूँ ना क्यों इतिहास होते भूगोल होते अंक होते प्रत्येके जदि से मैसेजा तर का पहुँच दी लेसन प्लान से अवश्य क्लस करते हैं जो लेसन प्लान विषय एंत पढ़े उठते पर ना पे थी तब तरह यह विभिन्न रकम एप आई एप थे तक शिक्षित कराते तरपर जे कटा दिन एखो लकडाउन चलो बाहबंदी थे प्रत्येक नवद भिन्न जो शिक्षक तरह के एक दायित्व देवा तरा तर निजे परिवार बाच्चा आशपाशे जरा को समय डिस्टेंस अवश्य मेनटेन कर तक के श्रेणी शिक्षण जदि एक व्यवस्था कर देवा जाए मन जे हम जे हाथे नाते क्च दक्षता शिक्षक जो दक्षता जे दक्षतार जो नहीं शिक्षक प्रकृत शिक्षक जगह पहुँचे जान एक स्किलफुल टीचार हो गे उठते पर उठते कि जिन करिए बड़ा बीएड महाविद्यालय जेमन आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट आर्ट एंड क्राफ्टर एक विषय सद्य पाठ्य कर तर नाम हम टेलारिंग से क्षेत्र में समय के सदुपयोग करार्जन एवं समाज सेवा एक नतून पथ अवलम्बन करार्जन ऐले मे मास्क बनानों एक क्ज दिए बस किचू स्टूडेंट जरा टेलारिंग रेखे ता से क्जटी सम्पन्न कर 
আবার কোভিড নাইনটিন এর উপর কম্পিটিশন করা হয়েছে সেখানে একটা আট পৃষ্ঠার সম্পূর্ণ একটা ওয়াক তাদেরকে করতে বলা হয়েছিল সেই ওয়াক তারা করেছে তার সংখ্যাও নাই নাই করে পঞ্চাশ অতিক্রম করে গেছে এই যে আমাদের হাতে নাতে কাজের কিছু কিছু বিষয় সেগুলো ভরা গোড়া করে ভরা গোড়ার বিএড সেকশন তাদেরকে দিয়ে আমরা করাতে পেরেছি বাকি যেটা থাকে সেটা হচ্ছে আচরণের পরিবর্তন যাকে আমরা বলি কগনেটিভ ডোমিন থেকে আমাদের এফেক্টিভ ডোমিনে পৌঁছানো তার জন্য আমাদের অল্প সময় অপেক্ষা করতে হবে আমরা আশা করব এই যে সময়টা চলছে এই সময়টা দীর্ঘস্থায়ী হবে না কারণ আমাদের দেশ তাহলে অচল হয়ে যাবে কাজে আগামী কিছুদিন পর হয়তো আমরা আবার একসাথে মিলিত হব সেখানে গিয়ে আবার আমরা আমরা শ্রেণী শিক্ষণে অংশগ্রহণ করব তবে অবশ্যই আমার একজন কোয়ডিনেটার হিসেবে আমার বিএড এর দক্ষ তা পূর্ণ শিক্ষকদের কাছে আবেদন সেখানে তারা তাদের সিলেবাসের উপর রিসার্চ করবে রিসার্চ করে তারা সিলেবাস সংক্ষিপ্ত করে কিভাবে খুব কম সময়ের মধ্যে আমরা আমাদের সিলেবাসটাকে শেষ করতে পারি সেই দিকে একটু নজর রাখতে আমার মনে হয় একটি বিশেষ দিশা ধন্যবাদ স্যার বহুত বহুত ধন্যবাদ স্যার বহুত বহুত ধন্যবাদ ডক্টর তপন কুমার মন্ডল স্যার আপনার আশীর্বাদ দেনে কে নাও আই উড লাইক টু কল আওয়ার ডক্টর সচিন্দ্র মহান সাহু স্যার প্লিজ রিজয়েন অ্যান্ড পুট ইয়র থট উইদ ইন এ ভেরি শর্ট টাইম প্লিজ স্যার নমস্কার স্যার গুড মর্নিং এভরিবডি অনারেবল ভাইস চ্যান্সেলার অফ কোলান ইউনিভার্সিটি প্রফেসর গঙ্গাধর মিস্ত্রি পন্ডা স্যার আওয়ার অনারেবল প্রিন্সিপাল ডক্টর সত্যপ্রিয় মালিক স্যার অ্যান্ড মাই ডিয়ার কলিগস অ্যান্ড অল দ্য অর্গানাইজার্স অফ দিস ওয়েবনার ইন আওয়ার কলেজ আই এক্সপ্রেস মাই গ্র্যাটিটিউড অ্যান্ড হার্ট ফেল্ড থ্যাঙ্কস to all and i hope i also request our principal sir to organize more and more seminars through with through webinar so that i our students will get more chance to take the opportunities in their teacher training courses but i have one question how the teaching skills can be developed but i request our principal sir after theory exam the teaching practice should be continued in schools so that the three domains which are the main domains cognitive affective and psychomotor domains could be developed thank you sir thank you sir now i would like to call from our department assistant professor Mr. Rajesh Samir Kachar sir, please come and join. Thank you sir. Now, Thank you sir. My Rajesh Samir Kachar. Dara Goda Mahabhidare Dwar Ayajit webinar challenge to secondary teacher training program during COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. के दौरान जो भी स्थितियां उत्पन्न हुई हैं उसके बारे में हमने बहुत कुछ सुना और इस प्रोग्राम में जितने भी हमारे मेहमान थे मैं सारे लोगों का धन्यवाद देना चाहूँगा हमारे पैट्रॉन सर डॉक्टर सत्य परिण महाजिक सर को चीफ पैट्रॉन माननीय कुलपति महोदय को हमारे कन्वेनर संयोजक डॉक्टर तपन कुमार मंडल सर को हमारे ऑर्गेनिंग सेक्रेटरी डॉक्टर भक्तबंधु नायक सर को और जितने भी हमारे टीचर्स सफा सर सहकर्मीगण हैं उन सभी को और मैं धन्यवाद देना चाह रहा हूं जितने भी वक्तागण थे डॉक्टर मीता बनर्जी डॉक्टर यू के खडंगा 
और डॉक्टर अनुपमा भार्गव इनसे हमने बहुत कुछ सुना पेंडामिक के बारे में कि कैसे यह महामारी को हम दूर कर सकते हैं कैसे हम टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग कॉलेज प्रोग्राम के अंतर्गत सारे चीज़ों को सुचारू रूप से हम कारगर सिद्ध कर सकते हैं इस आपदा को हम कैसे अवसर में बदल सकते हैं तो हम इन सारी चीज़ों को जितने भी हमने वक्ताओं को सुना उनके जो महत्वपूर्ण वक्तव्य थे उन सारी चीज़ों को हमें फॉलो करना है और हमें इस चीज़ को कैसे आगे बढ़ाना है और कैसे हम अपने जितने भी कोर्सेस हैं जितने सारे एक्टिविटीज़ हैं उन सारी चीज़ों को कैसे पूरा करें और सुरक्षित रहते हुए तो हम अभी सबसे बड़ी चैलेंज हमारे पास है कि हम कॉलेज का जो एक्टिविटीज़ है खासकर हमारा स्कूल इंटर्नशिप तो वो अगर हम स्कूल जाएंगे तो बच्चे के साथ कैसा हमारा इंटरेक्शन होगा कैसा बिहेवियर होगा कैसे हम सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग मेंटेन करेंगे तो इन सारे चीज़ों को लेकर हम अपने और अपने जितने भी अगल बगल या फिर साथ में रहेंगे उनको सुरक्षा का ध्यान में रखते हुए हम सारे एक्टिविटीज़ को पूरा करेंगे मुझे उम्मीद है कि आपने जो वक्ता थे उनकी बातों को सुना और उनसे काफ़ी लाभान्वित हुए होंगे बस मैं इतना ही कहकर आप सभी को शुभकामनाएं देता हूं कि आप इस पेंडेमिक पीरियड में आप सुरक्षित रहें शक्तिशील रहें धन्यवाद धन्यवाद राजेश समीर कश्यप सर आपका इस वेल्युएबल टॉक के द्वारा अभी समय आ गया है वॉट ऑफ थैंक्स का और यह कार्य हमें ही सौंपा गया है तो इसके तहत मैं वॉट ऑफ थैंक्स देना चाहूंगा अंड्रेवल वाइस चांसलर कल्हान यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर गंगाधर पंडा सर अंड्रेवल प्रिंसिपल बहरागोड़ा कॉलेज बहरागोड़ा डॉक्टर सत्यप्रिया महालिक सर अंड्रेवल फार्मर एंड फर्स्ट वाइस चांसलर द वेस्ट बंगाल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टीचर एजुकेशन प्लानिंग एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फार्मर प्रोफेसर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कलकत्ता formers professor at different institutions and at present in current le professor emeritus and dean of school of education adamas university professor dr mita banarji madam former reader in education dr parshuram misra institute of advanced studies in education dr up khadanga sir Assistant Professor in Education, Saint Javier's College, Ranchi, Dr. Anupama Bhargava, Madam. Webinar convener, Dr. Tapan Kumar Mandal, Sir. This webinar organizing secretary, Dr. Bhaktabandhu Naik, Sir. Really, in this fine session, I would like to take this opportunity to thank each one of. you sir and madam for taking time from bg schedule and lighting us with your valuable thoughts really madam we are so happy and sir we are so happy honorable principal sir dr mahalik sir always inspiring us to do some creative and initiative tasks as we have already discussed that this college is placed in remote areas and also we are in here uh, the uh, witnessed that some technical and networking problem is at in spite of that the college is situated as in the tri junction of bihar jharkhand west bengal and odisha we are taking and trying to do our best our department is thankful to you dr mahalik sir principal sir for providing the opportunity and supporting us thank you sir so much also we are thankful to our honorable vice chancellor professor dr gangadhar panda sir our department is thankful for joining with us from such nice spiritual philosophical moral reality and many more thoughts definitely we are benefited professor mita madam who is a student friendly teacher educator with extensive research experience and more than 36 years of teaching experience eminent teacher awardee from the university of calcutta and 
Parul Prakasani and also awarded a lifetime achievement certificate from different institutions. She has about 36 scholars awarded PhD degree under her supervision. Really, madam, our department is so much thankful from the core of our heart to you for lighting us in this occasion, madam. In spite of your busy schedule, you have given us your valuable time since 10 a.m. till now, madam. We are really thankful to you, madam. In spite of busy schedule, Dr. U.P. Khadanga, sir, who teaches me during my AMED course, he is the path sower in our research activities, key contribution work in the field of Sarvasiksha Abhiyan, primary education program by the government, and more than 80 MPhil scholars and 11 to 12 scholars awarded PhD degree under his direct supervision, Dr. Khananga sir. Life member of different organizations, many great thanks from core of my heart. A great thank on behalf of Faculty of Education to Dr. Khadanga sir, who joined with us to lighten the knowledge from beginning till now. Also, our speaker, Dr. Anupama Hargava, madam, who has joined around 10 o'clock and still remains alive. Our department thanks her from the core of our heart. And Anupama, madam, has also published many more articles in some reputed journals and took an interest in the field of research activity. She has a research experience of few years and teaching experience more than 12 to 13 years on behalf of Faculty of Education, Behragora College, Behragora. My big thanks for joining with us to grace the participants through your lightning knowledge. And thanks to webinar convener Dr. Tapan Kumar Mandal sir, head of the department Bengali, for organizing such nice webinar. Also, my thanks to Dr. Bhakbandhu Nayak, in charge, be it organizing secretary, who always motivate us to organize webinar. Thanks to my colleagues to make this webinar a grand success. Thanks everyone for make this webinar program success. Also, I thanks to technical support, technical support, Samen Kumar Singh ji, Rusa Ghosh ji, Sumit Kumar ji, Tapan Mandal ji for technical support and continuous effort. We are hopeful in future program. Definitely, we remember you, sir and madam, and we are hopeful your grace should be forever with us and for our betterment. What the suggestions we need, we definitely contact with you, sir and madam. Many, many thanks sir and madam finally i thanks to all the participants jai bharat jai jharkhand now once i announce just four participants up to 5 pm please fill up the feedback forms so that after two to three days we can generate these certificates now i request our principal sir Dr. S. P. Mahalik sir to share informally with the delegates. I request Dr. Mahalik sir to share the views. Okay, sir, please, sir. So I am happy. To organize this type of webinar in this our professor Rajiv Namsa has already discussed and in fact that this college is situated in rural and tribal belt having 
rural students and those have don't the, those don't have any special facilities regarding mobile phone laptop or any other technical supports in spite of that our teachers are trying their best to deliver their lectures especially in this lockdown period also unanimously they have decided to organize such type of webinar to enrich the practical skill of teaching and learning so once again i thank to all of you and to my colleagues to the participants to the research persons and especially to the chief patron and honorable vice chancellor of kolhapur university chaibasa for their great support thanking you all my best wishes johar johar now one announcement regarding feedback in youtube link feedback form is available in description in youtube description feedback form is available now if our delegates sir and madam permits to conclude this webinar then we can conclude madam madam banarji madam if you permit us then we can stop thank you thank you yes you can close thank you thank you thank you madam madam declare yeah. thank you thank you so much thank you so much so you can see the